Hi Flosstube, how are you? My name is Shemaine of Creatively Shemaine and this is my Flosstube. Um, this is actually going to be for um, Blogmas. I'm so behind, but that's due to moving <laughs> and miss moving our household in a day. So I have had to kick that up to get everything packed up. Um, still don't know where I'm going to live, but we'll see. I have a couple, temp, seven days with my daughter and then it's either going to be in a rented house, an apartment, or possibly I might do some traveling. So we'll see if you'll see me on the road or in a new place. Um, this is my Merry Christmas pajama. It's not really a pajama top, but the house gets cold and I, y'all usually see me with it on when I'm cold. So I, like I said, I am behind what we are on December 10th. So <laughs> I had, I thought I had mixed nest out on any advent boxes, so I had um, the Tinsmith's wife, I called Wendy, she is amazing, and had her put one together for me. Went and got it in plenty of time to do this, but everything has kept me rolling, so. And then my husband, oh my gosh, passed out at work last week, and that just threw me off again, so. He was just severely dehydrated from being sick um, or stomach virus, food poisoning, they can't decide which. So back to work and yeah, so this is, she packed in like the in the brown paper bag and oh my gosh, she, she packaged everything so cute. I, it too. I just got a glance in there. So she put, there's some and Here's the first package with the number one. So we're gonna start there. And I'm sorry for any crinkling because I haven't opened these pre. So number one, I totally loved it for her. Law just gave her a, the, um, most of wanted to spend her day. And then on the last day I said, I kind of upped it a little bit. So we got the General Arts Pumpkin Pie. Yay, I do not have that one. I know that. I definitely wanted to add to my thread base, so my floss. Do you remember making puppets with this? <laughs> it's just the person I used to make the little puppets. <laughs> Oh, Mill Hill Glass Treasures. It's a little star. Whoop. Um, it's just a crystal one, white crystal. It the tags in the way, so you can't really see that one because it's backwards. Number three. We're gonna go to number ten. So, Ruby Slipper again. She's now in the but she probably has a record of the ones I've at least bought from her. So maybe I won't get any ducks, which would be fantastic. Are y'all having a great Christmas season? I hope so. Mine is quite different, but it's okay. It's... Oh my gosh. Number four is a pair of little scissors. We know we all put, most of us put tons of scissors in little and she knows me. I put one in each bag. But I also have a general bag that I pretty much take anywhere and keep nearby that has extra needles and scissors. In case I can't touch one, because I have 20, 25. I need to count them. Yep. Um, works in progress. And so not all of them have scissors yet. Oh my gosh, I have been wanting one of these to do boxwood crossings. This one is Santa Folk. And I am probably getting too close to my light. I had just bought and the little sled to go with it. Oh, that is awesome. I'm so excited. Yay. 
Number six. We are on number six. <sighs> treasure braid. And I don't have any um, treasure braid yet. So, and this is silver. That, that might be a lie. I might have some treasure braid in my um, nice Templar. But I think it's black. I think that is actually treasure braid in there. Number lucky. Who's lucky number seven? My lucky number is three and nine. So size 26 John James tapestry needles. And my cousin had pointed out some of these are not made in England anymore. This one, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> now that I try and say, you know, England. <laughs> Number eight. What's going to be in my lucky number nine? Uh, oh, another. There we go. Mountain Mist. Again, I know I don't have this. I think it's more right there. This light is way brighter than I thought for such a small light. Like, if I back up, I'm too far away, I feel. Oh, number nine feels like a really good one. It's got a little thickness to it. Oh, cool. It's a needle organizer, which I definitely need. Awesome. And last one out of here. Let's set that aside is number 10. Like I'm, gonna, I'm probably, since I give these in a chunk, I will probably again do them in another chunk on the 15th. Blue corn, I know I have blue corn, but I love blue corn and I could definitely use it. And I remember when blue corn was hard to get hold of. So that is number 10 from the Tennessee's Wife. If y'all have not, if you're in the area and have not been to her shop, it's amazing, especially if. You're also a needlepoint person or a crochet knitter. She has all the above. Um, they are so pleasant to talk with and deal with. Her husband was actually in the shop the day I was down there. We're both Marines, so Semper Fi, and we had some really good conversations. I decided, this came in the mail the other day when I realized who it was from. I was like, oh wait, since I didn't know what else I was going to do. Um, so I got a new order from Dot Dot Goose. I did just open it so it wouldn't be really too noisy. One of these is for my daughter for Christmas. She doesn't watch my vlogs too. So I don't have to worry about that. So let's see what I got. I, if you have not tried Dot Dot Goose's bags, uh, you really must. They are so beautifully made and her fabrics are gorgeous. And I went a little backwards in time and had to get the haunted house one that was still there. I am definitely a Halloween cross-stitcher among other stuff, but Oh, and look, she put a little tiny floss drop, Santa floss drop in there. That is adorable. Oh, I might have to run and get, I got my first set of floss drops yesterday, and I will go run and get them in a sec. But let's see, this one is, yeah, mine, because I'm doing gingerbread. I have a lot of gingerbread stuff going, and it's so pretty. Look at that plaid. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I, I ordered four. I forgot I did that. I forgot. So this one is mine. <laughs> this is to go with the Santa. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Let's show you. Okay, here's a Santa floss job in there. Let's see if I can get that. Cute. So I'm gonna get Twin Peaks, um, the Santa and Mrs. Claus series. So I had to go ahead, thanks to Finally Farm Girl, and get this bag from Dot Dot Goose. And then Mrs. Claus, and it is so pretty. 
And also the gingerbread fabric on the back helped. <laughs> Oh, that is so cute. I love, look, do you see the reindeer? Look at the reindeer. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna smile every time I take these bags out. I already know it. And this one is the one for my daughter. And it's very, the one we both love. I'll probably, if she had. Oh, she gave me a discount. Oh. Um, this one. It's gonna be very hard to give out. It's beautiful, look at that. And she has the pretty fabric knot. And there is a little reindeer floss drop. And since she doesn't use floss drops, I will probably steal the floss drop. But I wanna show y'all something. Um, I, I think I've mentioned it before. Um, these are her cards, so if you haven't seen her, there it is, that guy Goose. Thank you so much. These are three inch cards. These are perfect if you're leaving three inches of fabric to use as a ruler to make your three inches on the corner, corner marker. I keep one in my bag that I keep general stuff in. And if it's in a bag, like one of her bags, I also keep one in there. So when I kid up, so. That is Duck Duck Goose. Very beautiful. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you for supporting my business. Da, da, da. And at the bottom, she puts a little coupon on your thing. Let me get this out of the way. Then, just now, the mailman knocked and my dogs lost their minds. And I wasn't thinking, I opened this box, I was like, what is this? I don't remember ordering anything, but my brain forgot. And here we go, season's greetings. Hi, Shemaine, hope you like your Christmas box and thank you for your purchase. This is from Diane and Twin Peaks. Primitives, I love it, very pretty paper which I will hold on to and if you've already seen one you might fast forward to the floss drop which if you're doing floss drops let me know I am still waiting by the mail for mine but let me know if you want holiday Christmas Halloween or normal every day yes I kind of went overboard <laughs> picking a design is so difficult <laughs> Stick abilities, season greetings. Oh, I still need to get my, cal I have a calendar I might use. I, I can't decide whether I wanna get the cross stitch one or I'm trying to decide where I'm gonna stick this. I still got stuff I'm packing everywhere. Oh. So, okay, it looks like a coaster. T. I want to say there's snowmen. I don't want to crinkle, but I'm sorry. I I got. I have to open it all the way. <laughs> Such cute bags and chocolate. Who can't do without chocolate? I know there are people who don't do chocolate, but I am a chocolate girl. Oh, this is so pretty. So there's a little Santas. I think he's another stickability. He feels like a little puffed one. I also remember being of that age where when the puff stickers came out. Do y'all remember the little puff stickers? Very cute coaster. Oh, I love it. And a tea bag. And you know what? I have never seen this blue one. Winter Spice. Oh, I'm a Twinings fan. And I really need to replace my Irish and English breakfast, which are my main two staples. I'm very plain Jane, I know. So my husband was fond of telling me as we ordered. But there are things I'm not plain Jane about, but my tea for the most part, I do love peppermint tea. Oh, especially if my tummy's not acting correctly. If yours isn't, give it a try. Oh, a magnet Amsterdam I'm not going to take it out because that would be too 
That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. An ornament. My tree is not going up today. The little bit of decorations I'm gonna have are from what I just bought from Michaels. I was actually pretty behaved, but there were three items that I just had to get to her. Now, I'm huge into nutcrackers, so I found a really pretty one about this tall and he's all wintry maybe I'll grab him on the way back in and or I'll show you tomorrow um and I'll show my floss drops tomorrow that's what I'll do um so yeah I I'll save the rest as a surprise for you Robin's favorite oh this is one on my list hey so oh I gotta save a cat sorry about that had to my injured dog chasing one of my cats out of the area. Um, yep, so Robin's favorite. Uh, I do a lot of um, bird photography. So, oh, my daughter is gonna want this one. Christmas preparation at the barn. I'm a huge Twin Peaks fan, so oh my gosh, they just keep getting better and better. Also on my list, oh, they nailed this Cardinal Sampler Kids. Look at the pretty pull with let me turn Noel on there. Trying to get out of the lights. Out of the light. We don't want to be out of the light. And it's the full kit. And I bet, yep, XG Designs fabric and threads. And if you have not tried XG Design, you really must give it. And a, oh, what a pretty needle minder. And another pair of scissors. Oh my gosh. And needles, I do believe. Yes. Oh my gosh. And a, let's see what the needle, um, the floss hold, holder is. Uh. <laughs> so cute. It's a cardinal. Isn't he cute? The way they put it together is just so cute. The ribbon holding the thread together. If you have not tried a, a kit from Twin Peaks Primitives, the exclusives, um, you really must. The bags are great little cloth bags with the design on them. And that will be it, except I got to see all my glitter in there, and but that is an awesome way to end with a limited kit. Thank you guys at Twin Peak Primitives for putting together such an awesome box. And I think I'm gonna end there. Yes, I am. And I will show you on my next one, uh, my floss drops. I've only got one in, so it won't be long. <laughs> And what I picked up at Michael's for my Christmas, my few Christmas decorations, because we are knocking all the big items out this weekend. And then any boxes I have packed, this is going to be the last room all the way packed because I'm still working on quilts. Um, and maybe I'll show you some whips. I've worked on one and a new start. And they both have my full attention because one is a Christmas present that I'm hoping to get done for my daughter's boyfriend. And it's not usually in my wheelhouse, but I'm a huge fan too of the old school. Uh, I'm keeping you guessing, so maybe you'll come back and see me. Um, if you like what you've seen, click subscribe. Um, I, I love being here for y'all. Um, I have to say, my cross stitch and floss two friends have been the biggest support this year i've had a tough year um, with the loss of my mom and putting one of my fur babies to sleep and 
surgery and I did postpone another surgery. Um, the next year is still going to be bright, happy, positive. Um, and I'm starting a new adventure one way or the other. So yeah, I'm at a loss for words if you can't tell. Um, but you guys have a Merry Christmas season. I'll be back to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. But you guys have a safe holiday season. Bye now.